It's well documented that our politics are toxic, that we're incredibly divided and tribal, and that um, it's been difficult to get anything done because we have refused to cooperate, negotiate, compromise, or work with each other. We've lost uh, respect for the opposition, both sides, uh, and those elements, respect, compromise, negotiation, are essential to democracy. If you, um, and how do we get out of this? I mean, it's a democracy. What people don't realize is we've got to fix this. It's our responsibility. There is no, you know, it's not like they're going to fix it or they're going to come to the rescue. There is no guardian they. They is us. If you saw the um, Finest Hour movie about uh, Churchill in World War II, uh, bef at the beginning of the war, he addresses Parliament with that incredibly <clears throat> famous speech uh, saying, we will fight them on the beaches, we will fight them in the, in the streets, in the forests, in the fields, <clears throat> we will never surrender. But that's not the end. That's not the ending line of that speech. What he goes on to say is, um, even if, Britain is overrun. With the British fleet, the Commonwealth countries can carry on. <clears throat> New Zealand, Australia, Canada will continue the fight until the new world, with all its power and might, steps forward <clears throat> to the rescue and liberation of the old. Churchill knew they couldn't win World War II <laughs> without the United States. The United States had to come to the rescue. We're the United States. There's nobody going to rescue us. We have to do this ourselves. We have to decide that the quality of our lives, the country, the democracy, the country that's been built over centuries of sacrifice by the people that came before us is worth saving, and that we have to sacrifice the short-term self-interest, the certain knowledge that we're 100% right. And if you're on the left or the right, of course you're 100% right, and the other guys are 100% wrong doesn't matter. We have to get past that and work together to salvage what we know can be the greatest country on earth.